Question 1. Beartown has three local newspapers, the Art Journal, the Beartown News and the Courier. A survey shows, and we have the following information here, 30%, 32% of the town's population read the journal, 46% the Beartown News, 54% the Courier, 3% read the Art Journal and the Beartown News only, 8% read the Art Journal and the Courier only, 12% read the Beartown News and the Courier only, and 5% read all three newspapers. Then it says draw a Venn diagram to represent the information, label A, that's for the Art Journal, and B, the Beartown News, and C, the Courier readers. And I've drawn that up here with the square box reading the universal set, which would be all the Beartown population. So often with this getting our central value, our middle value, which is part of all three sets, is important, and that would be this one over here. That's uh, five. Five percent of the population read all three newspapers, so it would have five going in there. And then we've got 12% read the Bear Town News and the Courier only. So that's important. So that's this section over here. That's in this section over here that we're getting the Bear Town News and the uh, courier only, so that's 12, it would be in there. And then 8%, the art journal and the courier only. So we've got 8 in here. And then we've got 3% uh, read the art journal and the Beartown News only. So we've got that. And then it's a matter of putting in these spaces over here, which was those that read only one newspaper. So we have 32% read the art journal only. So 32% read it, but that would be including these. So we've got to subtract this. So that's going to be 8 plus 8, which is 16. And that's 32. So this would be 16. Don't be afraid to use your calculators here to avoid making any silly mistakes. So best is to use your calculator. I'll try not to use my calculator and Hopefully won't make any mistakes with it. The Bear Town News 46%. So there we've got uh, 15, 20. So that's going to be 26 over there. And then 54% um, here. So that's 20, 25. So that's going to be 29 would be there. So we've drawn our, our Venn diagram to represent this. Um, one other thing, I think this comes up in the B question over here. Find the percent of the population that does not read any of the three newspapers. Now if we add all of these numbers together, and again, using your calculator is a, is a good thing to, to do this. Add all of those numbers up. Make sure that you don't forget any. So perhaps just doing a little tick when you've used them, when you've done them, put them in. You actually get 99. 99 is the number that comes up there um, and so 1% so for B we get 1% is that so you'd actually have a 1 in your universal set there find a percent of the population that reads exactly one newspaper so these would be these um, ones over here it would be the 16 the 26 and the 29 these are the ones that read just one newspaper so it's just going to add those three together 16 plus 26 plus 29 and when we add that together we get 50 uh, 62 71 so 71 percent read just one newspaper so that's for C we've done that Find the percent of the population that read the Art Journal or the Bear Town News, but not the Courier. So they don't read the Courier; they read just the um, the other two, but they do not read the Courier. So the Courier is the so it's all of these are the Courier. Those are the those are the Courier. So the ones that read those but do not read the courier um, would be these over here. Let me use a different color here. 
me is red so it would be this one here and this one here and this one here these would be the ones that don't read the courier because everything in this circle over here uh, read the courier so for for D we're going to have 16 16 plus 3 plus 26 so that's going to be 40 um, 42 plus 3 that's going to be 45 percent then over here it says um, find the percentage okay so that's for D and then a local station states that 83 percent of the population reads either the Bear Town News or the Courier so what would that be the Bear Town News and also the Courier so that would be all of these if we add all of those together now probably the easiest way to do it is to look at those that don't read either of those which would be 16 and 1 so the easier way to go about that would be take 100 1 percent don't read any of the newspapers and 16 read only the uh, the arts journal so we minus 16 and we will get 83 percent so that is correct otherwise to do this we could have added up all of these ones over here we could have added up your 3 plus your 5 plus your 8 plus your 12 plus your 29 plus 26 and that should also equal 83 percent one of the two you could have done that all right so we've got that and then it says the population of Bear Town is 120,000. The local radio station claimed that 34,000 of the town citizens read at least two, at least two of the local newspapers. All right, so find a percentage error in this claim. So let's see how many read at least two. Well, at least two are in this region over here. Let me find it, see if I can find a different color here. Let me use this color over here. So we're looking at this region over here are at least two. That region over there, either two or three. So let's find out what that is. That's going to be eight plus five plus three plus twelve and um, that equals when I when I add that together that equals 28 percent so 28 percent so to find therefore the number that read that that would be 28 percent or 28 over 100 times um, 120,000 and uh, we'll use our calculator here bring in our calculator don't be shy to use your calculator in the exam because you don't want to make any silly error so you're going to times that by 120,000 enter and we get 30, 33 600 now we are told that um, they say 34,000 so what is the percentage error so we're going to to find percentage error this is the actual amount so percentage error is your estimated amount so that's the 40 34,000 minus the 33,600 divided always by the actual amount so this is 33,600 and you times that by 100 and um, we get our percentage there so let's just do that so we got uh, it's good to put this in brackets so let's put this in brackets firstly so we go 34,000 now you could have done 33,600 minus the 34,000 you don't worry about the negative sign it's actually the absolute value of this minus 33,600 and we're going to divide that divide by 33,600 and we're going to times that by 100 and you get 1.19 1 1 always give your answer to three significant figures unless otherwise told or unless you're working with a currency so it will be 1.19 percent